Howdy there, it's Amelia from Sleepopolis, and today I'm putting three pillows head to head to head in a purple pillow showdown. I'm a certified sleep science coach and I review sleep products for a living, so I'm here to give you the lowdown on all these pillows. I've individually reviewed the original purple pillow, the purple harmony pillow, and the purple cloud pillow, and you can find all of those reviews on our YouTube channel or on sleepopolis.com. So I'm here to give a thorough comparison of all three to help you find the right purple pillow for you. Now hit that subscribe button and let's get into this comparison. Let's kick this review off with a look at Purple's policies and prices. Cause no matter how much you think a pillow is gonna be right for you, you gotta read the fine print first. So first, Purple offers free shipping within the contiguous United States. Customers in Hawaii and Alaska will have to pay an additional shipping fee. Next, Purple offers a 100 night sleep trial on all these pillows, and that means you can test it out at home for 100 nights, and if you decide it's not a good fit for you, you can return it within that trial period for a full refund. Finally, Purple offers a one year warranty on all three of these pillows. Now for the prices. The Purple Cloud is the least expensive of these three pillows at $49 for a standard size and $69 for a king size. The original Purple comes in one standard size priced at $109. And the Purple Harmony is $159 for a standard size or $199 for a king size. Now keep in mind that these prices do change often, not to mention that there's usually seasonal sales. So head over to sleepopolis.com for the most up-to-date pricing information. And we've got some exclusive coupons on there as well. Now let's take a look at the construction of these three pillows, starting off with the purple pillow. The original purple pillow is made from the hyperelastic polymer purple grid, the same material used in purple's mattresses. This is a super durable material that maintains its shape well, as well as allowing for a lot of airflow. The cover is a breathable mesh, and the pillow comes with two foam boosters that can be added under the purple grid to heighten the loft of the pillow. Now, onto the purple harmony. <laughs> Now, the Purple Harmony's pillow core is Talalay latex, which is a naturally bouncy and cool material. The foam block is also perforated to allow for even more airflow. The cover of the pillow is a breathable mesh, and sewn into it is the Purple Grid Hex, a light version of the Purple Grid. This Purple Grid Hex gel pad has a lot of air channels to promote cooling. And finally, the Purple Cloud. The Purple Cloud pillow is filled with silicone-covered gel fibers, a down alternative that doesn't go flat or require as much fluffing as traditional down. The cover is made of 300 thread count cotton, which is also a breathable material. The entire Purple Cloud pillow is machine washable, whereas only the covers of the Harmony and original Purple pillow are machine washable. However, you can remove the Purple grid from the original Purple pillow and hand wash it with warm water. Finally, let's go over the lofts of these three pillows, which is essentially the height of the pillow. Now the loft of the original purple pillow is three inches, but it also comes with boosters that you can add in to raise the loft. And those boosters are an inch and a half inch in height. The Purple Harmony comes in three different lofts, a low, medium, and a high. And the low is 5.5 inches, the medium is 6.5 inches, and the high is 7.5 inches. And the Purple Cloud comes in just one loft, which is six inches. But we'll come back to loft in our sleeping position section. <laughs> All right, let's compare how these pillows feel. Now, I personally tested all three of these pillows out by actually sleeping on them, but keep in mind that feel can be subjective, so you might have a slightly different experience than me. Let's start off with the purple pillow. Now, overall, I thought the purple pillow was pretty firm. This was kind of surprising to me because when you touch it, it feels kind of jelly-like and kind of squishy, but when you actually lay your head down on the purple grid, it keeps your head and neck very elevated and supported with just a little bit of contouring. Now onto the Purple Harmony. Now I thought the Purple Harmony had more of a medium firmness. The combo of the latex and the purple grid makes it super bouncy and supportive, but it also has enough give that you get some contouring around your head and neck. Now onto the Purple Cloud. Now I also rated the Purple Cloud's firmness as medium, but it has a much different feel than the Harmony. The gel fiber used in this pillow gives it some of the softness of traditional down, but it still has a little bit more of an elevating feel and keeps your head and neck supported. And it has some of the moldability of traditional down, but not quite as much. As you see when I press into it, it reforms pretty quickly. Now let's talk about cooling. 
I thought that all three of these pillows were pretty good at cooling, but the Purple Harmony and the Purple Pillow were especially good thanks to the Purple Grid, which allows for a lot of airflow. The Purple Harmony also has the latex core, which is gonna contribute to even more cooling. Now, I didn't notice the Purple Cloud being especially cool when I tested it out, but it is a pretty breathable pillow thanks to the gel fiber and the cotton cover, so it should stay pretty temperature neutral overall. Now let's talk about how each of these pillows is gonna work for different sleeping positions. Most of us sleep on either our back, our side, our stomach, or some combination of those positions. Unless you're a giraffe and you sleep standing upright. Although honestly, I've been there. Sometimes you just get tired. But anyway, let's go over back sleepers first. Back sleepers generally want a pillow with a medium firmness and a medium loft. I thought the Purple Harmony was the standout option for back sleepers as I felt perfectly comfortable and properly aligned sleeping on it. The original purple is also a solid choice for back sleepers, especially if you like a firmer feel. However, I didn't think the purple cloud was the best for back sleepers as I thought it was too lofty. Now onto side sleepers. Side sleepers generally want a pillow with a higher loft and a firmer feel to ensure spinal alignment. The standout option here for me was the purple cloud, which has a high loft that's ideal for keeping side sleepers head and neck in line with their spine. The Harmony is also a great option for side sleepers, particularly in the medium or high loft. And the original purple can also work well for side sleepers, but I would definitely recommend adding the boosters to get a bit of extra height. Finally, stomach sleepers. Now, y'all can be a little tricky when it comes to finding the right pillow, as you want a pillow with a really low loft and usually a softer feel to prevent your neck from craning. Honestly, the only pillow out of these three that I thought worked for stomach sleepers was the original purple pillow without the boosters added. It is firmer, but I found that it did a good job of keeping my neck well aligned. The other two pillows were far too lofty for stomach sleeping. All right, I've thrown a lot of information at you, so let's recap and go over who should consider buying each of these pillows. So first, the purple pillow. Now, I love that the purple pillow works for every sleeping position, so it's especially a good choice for combination sleepers. I also really like that it includes the adjustable booster so you can really adjust the loft to fit your height exactly. I also really like how cooling this pillow is, so it's a really good choice for hot sleepers, and it's overall a really good choice for anyone who wants a firmer feel from their pillow. Now, onto the Purple Harmony pillow. <laughs> Now, I'll be honest with you guys, this was my favorite out of all three of these pillows. I'm a back sleeper and I found it to be perfect for sleeping on my back, so I would recommend it to all my fellow back sleepers in either the low or the medium loft. Side sleepers are also gonna find it really comfy in either the medium or the high loft. And out of all three pillows, I thought this was the most cooling, so hot sleepers, I think this is the best option for you. However, it is the most expensive of all three pillows, so it's not a great budget buy. Finally, the purple cloud. <laughs> now, if you're a strict side sleeper, this is definitely the pillow for you. It's also a great option for people who have allergies or just anyone who likes to keep things super clean as this entire pillow is machine washable. It's also the least expensive of these three pillows as well as one of the more affordable luxury pillows I've ever reviewed, so this is a great option for shoppers on a budget. Now let's run through some frequently asked questions to make sure that you aren't left wondering anything. So our first question is, which purple pillow is best? Now, as with most bedding products, this really depends. Personally, I loved the Purple Harmony the most out of all three of these pillows because I really liked its bouncy but supportive feel for lying on my back, but you might prefer a different pillow based on your sleeping position, your body type, what temperature you're at usually when you sleep, and your budget. Now onto our second question. Do purple pillows flatten? Now, in my experience with all three of these pillows, they did a really good job at maintaining their shape. Even the Purple Cloud, which is made with the down alternative gel fiber, retains its shape well, as each fiber is coated with silicone. Now onto our third and final question. Do you put a pillowcase on a purple pillow? This is pretty much up to you. The Purple Harmony and the original Purple Pillow both have a removable cover, so you could sleep right on them if you want and take the covers off and wash them. The Purple Cloud does not have a removable cover, but the entire pillow is machine washable, so you could sleep right on it if you want to. But personally, I tested all three of these out with pillowcases, so it's really up to you. Well, that's it for this purple pillow comparison. I hope you found this review helpful and that one of these pillows is to your liking. 
If not, we reviewed a ton more pillows on sleepopolis.com and here on our YouTube channel. So check those out for more options. Thanks for joining me for this review and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.